Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, Ubisoft revealed the system requirements for Watch Dogs Legion. Well, now they've actually just updated them, so I'm just going to go over those today, and they've actually uh, kind of bumped them up a notch. So starting with low settings 1080p, everything in this tier is the same, except for the fact that they've bumped the GeForce GTX 960 up to a 970, and they've also added a GeForce 1650 for comparison with newer generation cards. For high settings 1080p, everything else is the same, except for the fact that they've added a GTX 1660S, which before now I didn't know was a thing. For high settings 1440, the i7 7700K has been bumped to an i7 9700, and the Ryzen 5 2600 has been bumped up to a Ryzen 5 3600. The GTX 1060 has been bumped up to an RTX 2060S, and the RX 480 has been bumped up to an RX 5700. For ultra settings 4K, again, the CPU is the same, except for the fact that there is no AMD GPU listed here. Uh, the only GPUs listed are an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and an RTX 3080. Which, considering how the 3080 and 3090 launch went, I don't know how many people will have a 3080 by the time Legion comes out. And also, the required VRAM has been bumped down from 11 gigs to 10 gigs. But moving on to the ray tracing portion, the i5-9600K has been bumped down to an i5-8400 and the Ryzen 5-3600 has been bumped down to a Ryzen 5-2600. The GPU has been bumped up to a 2070 and the VRAM has been bumped down from 8GB to 6GB. Now they've actually added a new section for 1440 very high settings, kind of an in-between of 1080 high settings and ultra 4K. And this graphics option will require an i7-9700 and a Ryzen 5 3600. And the graphics card is quite an interesting option. Uh, the RTX 3070, which I'm pretty sure isn't even out yet. And for the last tier on ray tracing, 4K ultra settings, the CPU requirements were bumped up from an i7-9700K to an i9-9900K, and the GPU was also bumped up from a 2080 Ti to a 3080. So yeah, this was interesting. I've, I also like for the ray tracing category, they've added more specific details as far as ray tracing goes. So 1080p high is ray tracing medium, DLSS quality. 1440 very high is ray tracing high and DLSS quality. And ultra settings 4K are ray tracing ultra and DLSS. I just think that will... Honestly, this will be an amazing looking game for the people who have 3080s, uh, but still amazing looking for, you know, us smaller people with smaller, less powerful cards. I really hope this game doesn't suffer from the same problems that Watch Dogs 2 did graphically uh, as, as far as performance goes, where you just, you needed to do all this different, all these different things, especially on the PC version, all these different things to optimize the game to make sure it runs well. But honestly, I think Ubisoft has probably gotten that down by now. So what did you guys think about this graphical update? As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about them using graphics cards that aren't even out yet on their system requirements for a game that's going to come out in less than a month? I think that will be very interesting. But for now, it's been Cole. Peace.